Hello to all. Uh, the purpose of this video is to to shed some light of uh, what is the what the, uh, the ferro lens is showing about the quantum magnet field that is the field inside the magnet. The we're not talking about the classical field, but the inside field, the magnet, the quantum magnet field, which generates the outside classical north-south field. You know. And uh, I want to share my observations and conclusions about this matter. I this uh, whatever I say here in this video are my conclusions from uh, uh, I drawn from my uh, research the last uh, three to four years and uh, several publications I did here with my colleague and co-authors here in the Hellenic Mediterranean University. So this is active uh, publication uh, material, but I had to share some uh, first information with you. Uh, so what we actually uh, deduce from our observation and experiments with the Fairlands is a, a model, a magnetic flux model for the electron itself. And uh, this model is shown here. We have the magnetic moment first going upwards. So this is here the North Pole, this hole, and the hole under is the South Pole. And here we have the magnetic moment uh, reversed. And here we have the, now the North Pole is here down. And we see that the flow of energy the is paralleling uh, from the North Pole to the South Pole. And here it, the flow goes in is in the south pole and comes out uh, from the north pole. So we will now correlate uh, this uh, 3D animation of uh, the quantum magnet field of the air electron, which is uh, essentially also the quantum magnet field of a permanent macroscopic magnet, because its net field is. Uh, due the alignment of all the unpaired electrons inside the, ma uh, the magnet's material. And <coughs> so what we see here is that uh, each magnetic flux line or magnetic line of force for the quantum magnet, I repeat, for the quantum magnet field, not the classical field, it's having this kind of trajectory. It's going here. Then it's going from the to the back side of the sphere and then eventually spirals in to the south pole. I repeat again, comes here out, goes to the back side of the sphere, and then spirals in to the south pole. So this is the magnetic moment and the magnetic flux in, uh, in every magnetic dipole. And uh, also here we have uh, a part of the longitudinal spin, we have also revolution of the magnetic flux lines. But this is, of course, for the electron. In the, in the field of a static permanent magnet, we don't see this kind of rotation, revolution of the lines and, and spin, physical spin. But uh, a still moment of this will uh, uh, essentially be also the quantum magnet field inside the magnet. I repeat, inside the magnet material. So, to understand now how how this image here correlates with with what we see uh, of the field of the quantum magnet field inside a permanent magnet uh, using the ferro lens, we have to understand that the ferro lens projects it uh, projects the field in a in a two D surface. It's essentially a two D surface. It has only a thickness of twenty five to fifty. Uh, microns, the thickness of the film inside the ferro lens. But essentially it's a, two pro a 2D projection of a 3D field, which is the actual field uh, which exists in nature. So keep that in mind, please, because everything now is squeezed, is squashed in. Yes, so this will, uh, uh, this will cause some uh, misconceptions as what we actually see. But we will explain this now in detail. So uh, you can see here the 3D model. 
And uh, when we look now at the polar view, this is an observer looking uh, top uh, uh, here from the top, straight from the top of the of the sphere of the magnetosphere. We get this here. Excuse me for a moment. Yeah, so we get here. This this is a top view of the quantum magnet field of the electron, and essentially also for a thermal microscopic magnet. And we see that we can uh, we can now see through the this the fa the fader spirals here are the bottom of the sphere of the magnetosphere, and the more uh, strongly the strongly contrast lines are the upper. Uh, spirals. So they are spiraling here and going all the way uh, following the perimeter of the sphere to the other pole on the bottom here. So this is the how we will see a magnetic dipole field, the quantum magnetic dipole field from, from top, top view. Of here is the north view of the north pole and here is the south view of, uh, of the magnet. So we see here the, the lines are spiraling out, and here in the south pole they are spiraling in. So this this actually here is uh, we see here. Uh, someone will say that the lines are crisscrossing, but they are don't crisscross; they are just overlapping in 3D space. Yes, but in the ferro lens, uh, we will uh, everything is squashed, is squashed and squeezed in a 2D flat uh, centrally dimension. Uh, there is a minor uh, thickness, 25 to 50 microns, as I, as I have said before, but uh, they're not crisscrossing, they're not touching uh, together, because a magnetic in a magnetic uh, field, the line of force cannot crisscross. It's a forbidden condition. So they're overlapping in 3D space, not crisscrossing, yes? Of course, in the ferro lens, you can have uh, you can have here this effect. You can have here this effect. These uh, little dots here. This because uh, because the lines now, uh, which are formed from the uh, nanoparticle chains inside the fer thin ferro fluid film, uh, are extremely close together. Okay. And uh, light scattering is more uh, strong here in the, in the section points. And therefore, we've got these little dots here, as they ha have dots. But they are not actually in the real field. They are not uh, crisscrossing, just overlapping. So, yes. As, as you see here. Yes, they are overlapping. They are not uh, crossing each other, and uh, the actual trajectory of uh, if we want to see uh, one trajectory of, of, of ma magnetic flux line of uh, magnetic line of force, force. This is better illustrated here. This is a, li is a, this is a two diagram of the magnetic flux line. It's essentially is uh, an eight figure, we can say practically. So you have here this region here, which is the, the horn torus formation. Yes, so you have this here line here, the horn torus, which, are connect, which are, is connecting the two vortices, the two tidal vortices, which consist the quantum magnet field. And the line goes, as I said before, comes here, spirals all the way from behind of the sphere and then comes in here and then of course continues up the horn here continues up here and the so the energy flow is this way and continues like this inside the rabbit hole and comes here out, out here from the other hole so this is <coughs> the the 3d uh, field animated of the quantum inside magnet field 
of the electron and essentially of every magnetic ferromagnetic uh, dipole. So let's see now how this correlates, how this translates uh, to a 2D surface, which is actually the projection, the, the, the projection, how the ferrolens projects the 3D field in, the, in a 2, 2D surface. So Okay. So now we have here <coughs> what the, uh, what the <coughs> what the actually the ferrolens is doing. <coughs> it takes uh, the previous uh, animation, the previous sphere, and projects it to a two flat uh, surface. So this actually here is uh, the previous animation of the top view of the three D fields of the magnet. So this is uh, how how it looks from one pole, from the north pole, and, ha and how the field would look from the south pole. And you see here the characteristic here crisscrossing, which I repeat is not crisscrossing lines; they are overlapping. But in the fur lens, this will be shown as a 2D surface image. And here we have also again we see this characteristic crisscrossing, which is actually this lines here. As we sh as we see show here in this image, and now what is happening? Remember the previous uh, animation. So what the what the furlens is doing is actually splitting uh, it's a actually splitting the sphere in two hemispheres and display separately each pole. So let's compare this together. So yes, so it's splitting uh, the sphere and co as and displaying separately each pole here. So we have now, the magnet is not in this direction. The magnet is uh, from left, uh, from the right right to left, the magnetic moment. So this here is now the North Pole, say, and this here is the South Pole. Yes. And uh, these are the polar views as we, it, wa it would look the, the field from the above. So we have here the characteristic crisscrossing. crossing here, you can see this more evident here, and everything is spiraling in, and it's coming actually from the other pole, and spiraling in to the opposite pole. But the cause here, let's see now what, what, why we got this here, we say it's a domain wall. You see, when the fur lens uh, flattens the two halves of the sphere here, of the 3D field, uh, the connection is here, the tube, the connection, to which the, uh, the double horn torus uh, with a tube here inside, cannot be displayed by the lens. So this is now broken. The tube here, the connection, cannot, we cannot see inside the dielectric field. So this is totally black here. You can see only the magnetic field. You cannot see the dielectric field. So you cannot see here the connection because it's essentially now broken the furlance has broken the 3D field and projected as two halves, like two vortices back to back. Understand? And uh, however, remember that uh, the furlance is a physical device. So it essentially has nanoparticles which are aligned to the magnetic uh, field, forming nano chains. And they are inside, uh, and they are essentially floating uh, inside a liquid. So uh, as in this midpoint here, where we have the, do the joining of the two dipole vortices, uh, we have uh, pressure. So this pressure I, I describe here with these uh, oval lines, which are not representing actual flux at the total here, but just to indicate the pressure here in the midpoint, where the joining the, the two dipole vortices, the two vortices meet. Uh, because this uh, here effect, the magnetic flux lines uh, lose, uh, are losing the curve. So they're getting more, they're straightened up. They're straightened up 
and you see here the they get more and more flat and we call here this region uh, we refer it as domain wall yes and uh, it's actually the perimeters of the uh, flux lines of the two vortices meeting here at the center and uh, losing the curl and therefore flattening up <coughs> so Yes. So yes. So what what is actually happening is uh, uh, the lines the lines are having this trajectory here, coming all the way back here, then they flatten, and then going all the way back and spiraling into the other pole. That is the the dynamic of the of the field, and we can actually see this also here. This eight figure, the going all the way here, going to the back side, continuing to the back side of the sphere, and then spiraling all the way into the other pole. So this is the <coughs> the dynamic of uh, of the furlands, and this is exactly how. Uh, the field, the 3D field translates in its uh, 2D uh, field uh, projection as shown by the furrow lens. So <coughs> I believe this has clarified how we interpret what we see the 2D field uh, of, the ma of the magnet, of the, qu the quantum magnet field inside the magnet shown by the furrow lens in a 2D surface and how this interprets to a 3D of the 3D actual representation of the field and vice versa. Uh, yes, uh, this, this was a small uh, video about this matter, but uh, I, I believe it's very important to understand uh, and correctly interpret what we see with the furrows and its actual uh, representation of this field when uh, shown in 3D. Thank you very much. This is Emmanuel Bakulakis from the Hellenic Mediterranean University. Bye.